Hello everyone, welcome back to another video in this tutorial series on using Photoshop CC. My name is Justin and um, what we're going to look at right now is just a quick way to alter the mood of an image. Um, okay, so I've got this uh, boathouse right here. I'm going to go ahead and just drag that down to my dock and drop it in the uh, Photoshop icon. And there we go. Of course, I could just come up here to uh, file, open, and navigate to that image as well. Okay, so here we go. Um, let's see, something real quick that we can do. Well, first I'm going to come over here to my image here, and I'm going to right-click and hit Duplicate Layer, okay? And we'll just call this uh, Boathouse. Okay, now, now I could also go up here to Layer, Duplicate Layer. Okay, um, I can also just have the layer selected and hit Command or Control J to duplicate the layer. Okay, I'm gonna hit Command Z and undo that right now. Okay, so um, we have our boathouse here. I'm gonna go ahead and just turn off this layer here just to keep an original image. Now, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and open up curves. Now, I'm gonna actually open up curves as an adjustment layer. So I'm gonna come up here to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Curves. Okay, and just hit OK. Okay, so I'm going to actually grab the curves here and pull it out and just increase its size a little bit, okay? Um, by default, it just came, you know, docked right here, and I just want to undock it. That way it's nice and big. Okay, now um, go ahead and just play with this curves, and you can see what it does. When it's set to RGB, it actually makes all the lights lighter, and it makes all the darks darker. And, of course, it's getting a good S-curve on it right there. It's a nice way to bring those colors out, right? Okay, a lot of contrast there. So, actually, let's leave it like that for now. But let me show you something. I can go ahead and change this from RGB to the different individual channels of red, green, and blue from RGB. So, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and select green. And then we'll kind of just play around a little bit, okay? Bring those green colors out just a little bit, huh? Or you know what? We could actually take them out as well, okay? But I'm going to actually increase the green a little bit. And I'm going to come up here and increase the red a little bit. Yeah, why not? Something like that. And then the blue, well, let's see what happens when we pull some blue out. Just play with these for a little bit, okay? Just see what kind of, what you can come up with. Obviously, the more blue you add, the cooler the image looks, okay? Uh, not cool as in Marlon Brando, but cool as in a uh, little bit temperature-wise, yeah? Okay, so I'm going to come up here to the red. Um, now it looks a lot pretty pink, so I'm actually going to pull it out. I think I'm going to kind of go with that cooler look, okay? There we go, just like that. So let's just keep it like that, okay? Great. Um, let's go ahead and add a vignette now. So I'm going to come over here to uh, create a new layer and select it create a new layer. Come over here to my paint bucket, select it, and then click on the image and make it black, okay? I'm going to come over here to my re uh, rectangle marquee tool, make sure the feather is set to 255. I'm going to not to the, go to the very edge, but kind of the middle here and draw something out like that and let go, all right? And just hit delete. There we go, just like that. Okay, greatly altered this image just like that. That was quick and easy, and the mood of this image has greatly changed. Let's go ahead and make it a bit grungy, huh? So I'm going to come over here to uh, the Photoshop tutorial images that I have, and I do have this uh, grunge image right here, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and just drag that right onto the composition and let it go, okay? All right, and let's go ahead and increase the size a bit like so. Okay, now how I did that uniformly, I guess I should show you that. Um, when you're moving your cursor around this image right here, um, it's not actually, the size of it has not yet been committed, okay? So see how the it, the arrows change as you go around it? From the, the side here, you get that kind of, the arrow pointing both ways over an angle. So that's how you rotate, okay? You can actually stretch the image. Okay, stretching the image will distort it. So if you're working with something you don't want distorted at all, like a face, how you do it is you come to the corner, hit Shift and Option, and then drag. Whoops. Shift, Option, and then drag. <laughs> there we go. Like so. Okay. In this case, it doesn't matter because I'm just looking for a little bit of a texture here. And then I'm going to actually come over here and just hit Soft Light. Boom. Okay. And it just added a little bit. See that? A little bit of grunge over the top of that. You know, maybe try messing around through different layer modes here. Darken. Yeah, darken actually looks pretty good. Try overlay as well. Overlay will brighten it up some, but actually I like that. Okay? And just add that little bit of texture on there. Okay? So that's a nice, quick, easy way to uh, 
alter the mood of this image. And I've showed you this before, especially when in the tutorial we're working with the trains. But I'm going to select all these images just by selecting the top one, coming down here and selecting all of them, and then hitting Command E. All right. And of course, I could have gone over here to Layer and just uh, merge the layers, merge the visible, or just flatten the whole image. Okay. But I didn't want to flatten the image in this case because I want to keep this background here so we can compare. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer. Okay, now I could right click and just hit duplicate layer. Okay, now um, let's see here. I'm going to come over here and actually that's going to drive me nuts. Let's change the name of these to Boathouse 1 and we'll change the name of this one to uh, Boathouse uh, Blur. Okay, now let's go ahead and go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. There we go, just like that. Okay, so now we have a very, 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 very blurred image here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit my eraser tool. I'm gonna make sure that my hardness is way down on the eraser. And, uh, oh, we'll set this to 198 pixels, why not? And I'm just gonna come in here now and just kind of delete out my boathouse, okay? See how you can control the viewer's eyes by doing this? Yeah, okay, I know I did this with the train one already, and maybe it's a touch of a repeat, but I'm getting a totally different look going on here, like so, all right? Now, I can come over here and bring the opacity down that touch so the, the two kind of blend together a little bit, maybe like 40%. Okay, there, there. So once again, I've really, really altered the uh, mood of this image, okay? And so I'm gonna go ahead and sel select both of these and then hit Command-E and uh, there. As you can see, greatly altered the mood of this photo once again. And again, this one is another dark one. So let's go ahead and make the next one kind of warm. So let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this one off. I'm gonna select this layer. I'm gonna hit Command J and duplicate it. I'm gonna move it to the top, okay? And turn off everything but this layer here. All right, so let's go ahead and make this one uh, this image a bit warmer. So I'm going to just, oh gosh, there's so many ways to do it. Images, image, adjustments, curves. Let's go ahead and um, just make it a bit warmer of a photo, okay? There, that, just like that even kind of gives it that like a uh, 70s look, doesn't it? In fact, maybe we'll throw a vignette out. Let's throw a vignette on a different way though. Let's go ahead and go to filter, uh, lens correction. Okay, hit custom right here, come down to vignette, and we'll make the vignette, oh, sorry, come down to vignette, and we'll make it just a bit darker, like so. Actually, let's get extreme, go all the way, and we can play around with this, man, let's see here. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so there we go. So now this image is a little bit warmer. It's a little bit of the, it's kind of like a 70s era photo or something like that, yeah? So let's go ahead and look at the three different moods that we have here. So we have this one here, this one here, and uh, this one here, okay? So there's just some quick ways to alter the mood of an image. In fact, let's go ahead and play around with photo filters while we're here. So I'm going to go ahead and take the original image and hit Command J and duplicate it. I'm gonna bring it up to the top here, shut off every layer but the top, and we'll just come up to Image, Adjustment, Photo Filter, and play with these photo filters. Okay, look at this. I can bring the density up, see that? All right, I can uh, make it warm, yeah? I can make it cool, and of course making it cool just kind of makes it, you know, more blue. Um, let's see here. We have, of course, sepia, right? Um, you've probably seen that one. All right, and that just kind of washes it out and makes it a little tan, all right, like so. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and look at our, our images now. So we have the original image. We have this very, very, uh, dark image, a little bit grungy there with a pretty heavy vignette. We have uh, one that's warmer. It's kind of an old retro looking photo right there. If we turn on that one there, we kind of have like a little bit of a sepia view. Let's compare that one to the original. Slight difference there. Yeah, this one's a little more washed out. And I have to admit, I am a sucker for putting a vignette on anything that we're going to make look old. And I think the fastest, easiest way to do it is just hitting lens correction. And ooh, this is something I can show you actually. Since we just did lens correction, that effect is now right up here on top, okay? And if we click it, it's going to set the lens correction to be exactly like the last settings that were used. And if you remember right here, we made this vignette. So if we come up here to our new one and click filter and then click lens correction, 
gave us that vignette okay there so let's take a look at our four photos now we have the original this one this one and this one all very different moods and just to do it let's go ahead and just uh duplicate that image again um let's well let's just go ahead and make it black and white and then very high contrast boom just to do it okay now let's look at our five images we have the original this one this one this one and this one all very different feelings right and um yeah in fact let's go ahead and put a blur vignette instead of now we keep doing the uh, dark vignette let's go ahead and do a blur vignette this time okay so um, i'm going to duplicate the layer one more time okay so now i've got two of the same exact ones if i turn the eye out on and off Okay, you see, if I turn the eye on and off, it's the same exact photo. And then I'm going to grab my uh, little lasso tool here, and I'm going to go around it like so. Okay, and just delete that area out. Okay, nice and easy. Now I'm going to deselect it by hitting Command-D. You can also just go to Select, uh, Deselect, Command-D right there. Okay, now I'm going to go to my blurs again and just select, you know, Filter, Blur, and we'll just hit that same blur again, no problem, and just kind of increase the blur up a little bit like... Eh, that's too extreme like so maybe that's too extreme too like so okay yeah that looks good okay so see the difference yeah big difference there actually the viewer your eye just goes boom right to this thing whoop yep just like that okay and i'm gonna go ahead and select both of those layers and hit command e okay now let's take a look at our different versions of this okay so we've got this one this one this one this one and this one. So there's some quick uh, ways to alter the mood of your photo.